How to import image sequences in Premiere Pro. I'm Jordan Needham, this is Jham 3 d and let's go ahead and get into this. So if you're into animation, this is gonna be relevant to you. I personally use Blender, and sometimes I really just don't wanna deal with their uh, video editing. So to import an image sequence, all you have to do, go up to the top left under File, click Import, and then uh, open that up, or you can just hit Control I, I think is the default. Locate the folder. So you might think like, oh, I made this animation and I've got 240 frames or whatever it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shift click all these and then we're gonna hit open and import them, voila. But no, cause now you have 240 or 220 in this case frames that are separate. And I think they're the default for me right now is five seconds a piece, which is way too much. I mean, the animation is like six or seven seconds. So that is not the way to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control I again, locate that folder, um, click the first image in your image sequence and check this image sequence box. And it's, it's almost insane that I didn't know this was there <laughs> for a long time because it's just in your face. Uh, but a couple of things to note here. So you want to select the first image in that sequence. Then you want to make sure that you're under the correct file format. For me, it's all supported media. So everything that's supported within uh, Premiere Pro that's in this folder or this image sequence is going to be imported as an image sequence, as an animation. Okay, let's hit open. And now we have a nine second video created from those images. So a couple of things to note here, when you're doing this, let's go back to this. All you wanna do is select that first image. Otherwise it's just not really gonna work. It's you see it will take away that image sequence box, but also you wanna make sure that they're labeled correctly. I think when they're not labeled correctly, like you can see this goes from uh, 0001 to 0002, and then it kind of goes on until 220 and that's what you want. So basically you wanna label the frames in numerical order, it's a better way to put it, because otherwise it's not gonna import them in the correct order or it's just not gonna import some of those images at all. And so if you have to replace some of those frames, make sure that you name them correctly as well, which I've had to do in the past. Okay, one other thing that you might be wondering, okay, I imported this, but it's in the wrong FPS. Like I, I, I animated in 24 FPS and it just imported at 30 FPS. How do I change that? So let's go over to edit and let's go to preferences and then media. And you can see that I think it's by default, our intermediate time base is at 24 FPS. And so if we actually change this to 30 FPS and then we hit okay, and then if we go to um, import, click that same image sequence and you import that, you can see we actually have the same image sequences at two different lengths. And that's because the one that we just imported was at 30 FPS and the one before that was at 24 FPS. So you can see the different time lengths here. It's about two seconds of a difference. Uh, so make sure you get that right. I'm Jordan Needham. This has been jham 3 d I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you made something using this tutorial, please share your work with me at jham.3d on Instagram. I will catch you next time.